Yes, Commissioner Roach, thank you. Mr. Commissioner, fellow commissioners, sports writers, concerned citizens and fans of football, I came here to speak for many in this room and in the African American community. We all know that baseball is a national sport and football is its neglected stepchild everywhere except here in Los Angeles. We have two fine semi-pro football teams here, the Hollywood Bears and the Los Angeles Bulldogs. We have players of all races and creeds on those teams. It is our way here in the West to give every person a chance to succeed and excel. We can even see this at the college level. Three quarters of UCLA's 1939 backfield were Negroes. We have always had integrated teams out here in the West. But unfortunately, that is not the case everywhere in our great nation. Today you will not see a Negro on any NFL football field, maybe as a janitor or a water boy. The NFL is segregated and has barred Negro players since 1933. It wasn't always that way. We had many, many Negro ball players up until that fateful year. Charles Follis, Doc Baker, Henry McDonald, Gideon Smith, Fritz Pollard, Rube Marshall, the great Paul Robeson, Inky Williams, John Shelbourne, Duke Slater, James Turner, Saul Butler, Dick Hudson, Harold Bradley, Dave Myers, Joe Lillard, and Ray Kemp, who was the last Negro player in the NFL before the door was closed. There hasn't been another now for 13 years. We all remember that great UCLA-USC game back in 1939. Kenny Washington, Jackie Robinson, and Woody Strode held the Trojans to a zero zero tie. We were all so proud when Kenny went to play in the All-Stars game of 1940 in Chicago. He scored a touchdown against the Green Bay Packers. And many of the players who were on that field with Kenny were invited to play on NFL teams, but nobody invited Kenny. Our best Negro players only could play in semi-pro teams. It's a shame. A shame. America fought Adolf Hitler because he was a racial supremacist, yet our army is still segregated. We fought a civil war against those who believed that Negroes should be enslaved and excluded from society, yet exclusion still exists. Even our Declaration of Independence tells us that all men are created equal, yet opportunity is still not equal. We cannot allow a segregated NFL team to use a stadium paid for by our taxes. We cannot play segregated football here in Los Angeles. It's, it's just not our way. I oppose any team that will not give our citizens an opportunity to try out an opportunity to be included and an opportunity to play. Thank you. Thank you very much.